class, I'm going to be showing you how to make a knitted dishcloth. Now, this is a great first project if you're just starting out with knitting. It's really easy. Hey guys, happy Monday and happy day two of the 100 day project. So I'm excited. So I actually found the first thing I'm going to work on. I decided to sign up for a free trial to Skillshare and I've used Skillshare like years and years ago when it first came out and I do like it but I don't want to pay for it. <laughs> so I decided I would do the 30 day free trial and I'm going to do as many of the knitting classes as I can in those 30 days. So the first one I found was making a dishcloth and lucky enough I think this is, I don't know if it's the exact same one in the video or if it's really, really close, but I felt that was kind of a sign because as soon as I saw that color, I was thinking, I have one, I think that same color. So this is a bag of a one pound bag of mail ends. I picked these up from Mary Maxim a while ago and you can't pick your color. You just get a random color. They'll all be the same, but you can't pick it. And I was a little bit worried because I I didn't want to get anything that was like Christmas themed because I bought I was thinking like I might get something Christmas and I I don't like holiday themed things but this is the color that I got and I was so happy because I it's really really bright and I I love stuff like this so I have my yarn out I also pulled out my knitting needles I'm gonna use and these are very large like very long so the Tutorial said that I needed 5.5 knitting needles, so I pull those out and they are a lot longer than I think I would want to work with. I don't have any shorter ones, so I'm gonna have to do this. <laughs> and you know, I saw Isela a while ago from Isela's Crafty Shenanigans. I wanted to say Crafty Life, but she changed it to Shenanigans and she was knitting and she was saying that if you're a beginner, it's really great if you use a chunkier yarn and then if you use bamboo knitting needles. And I wish I had some. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it a try with these. I feel like if I make a little progress, maybe a gift, a reward would be I will get some new knitting needles that are bamboo or maybe some interchangeable ones. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, so I have my supplies. I have my yarn, my knitting needles. And then I also pulled out the little darning needles since the tutorial said I needed that and these were right at hand. So I don't know how much I'm actually going to film. I foresee myself being frustrated. <laughs> okay, I've tried to learn how to knit for a long time. Like many, many times in the past, it does not work. So I'm hoping this time is going to be different because I'm committed to it for 100 days. I mean, it doesn't matter what you do. If you do it for 100 days, you're going to get better. So I'm like, hey, I might not be amazing at it, but I'm going to get better. So or at least I'm going to learn something. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pull up my tutorial and I'm going to get started on that. And once I get started with that, I'll check back in and show you guys what it's like. Hopefully this is enough because this is one of the smaller ones. I'm really hoping this is going to be enough. And I guess I'll just work from the outside. All right, well, I'm going to get started. Then you can pull the tail to make the loop smaller. So we can then take our needle and place it through the loop. We can start looking at how to do a knit stitch and yarn over. All right, I got my cast on. I tried to get ahead a little bit and see if I could do it without following. So Messed up, but got it done. Have your yarn on your right side. We're going to take our needle and slip it under that first loop on our left needle. Now our yarn is at the back of the needle. We're going to wrap it around. All right, that wasn't graceful, but I got some stitches on here. <laughs> I got a little bit behind, so I had to stop, but yeah, this is my start. So I'm going to just sit here. I'm going to keep going on it. And once I have a little progress, I will show you guys what it's like. That didn't take me long to run into an issue. So I tried to do the next row. Don't know what happened. 
something went wrong. I know what went wrong when I had to do that increase. So I'm going to take this off and I'm going to start again. All right, I'm impressed that I actually remembered how to cast on without going back to the video. <laughs> I actually pulled it off. Oops, so try it again. All right, I had to go work, on, I had to go sit down and work on this because, yeah, I was getting, the, it wasn't working out here, but so I started again. Oh, I don't know if this is what it's supposed to look like, but on this row where I'm at right here, I forgot to do that increase. And I don't know how to go back and fix that. And then I'm splitting some of the thread too. So this one went a little bit more smoothly than the other one. So I'm gonna frog this again. And I'm gonna start again and try to remember not to forget the increase because I have no idea how to fix it. All right, time for another update. That's my progress. <laughs> so I frogged this thing so many times that it's starting to get, it's splitting more and more. So I just trimmed off the part I've been frogging a lot. And I'm actually getting really frustrated with these super long crochet hooks. So I decided that I would, well, my plan was to go ahead and get these out, these double pointed ones. But while I was pulling these out, I realized I forgot, you know, I have these circular ones. Oh, that's kind of cool, I guess. There are different, the cable is different sizes for each one. I think maybe I'll take the medium. Yeah, I'm going to give it a try with using these. Now, I've never used circular needles before, and I honestly don't know how or what the use of them is but I'm gonna give it a try and I'm trying to figure out which one this looks slightly thinner I'm gonna give well I don't know I think this is how you do it I need a 5.5 but there's not a 5.5 on my measure I have just a five and then five and a quarter and then mm. all right I'm gonna try the five and a quarter it fits uh, okay, I'm stuck between these two sizes. This one that I'm using, it feels like it's right in between these two sizes. I think it'd probably be easier to use a larger one, so I'm going to pull out. Hopefully I can get these back in the bag. I'm going to stab through the bag. All right, oh, these are very messy. All right. So I think I'm going to pull out this size and give it a try with circular needles. Okay, I'm going to try to get these back in the bag too. All right, this one actually was going better. I had got up to 10 rounds and I can see that little border thing from like the picture and then the center of it. But I don't know what I did here. So what I'm thinking, because I've restarted so many times, I'm trying to think now, because for this project, I'm supposed to increase, keep increasing until I have 30 st stitches on here. And I feel like trying to remember to put that increase after the second one is taking a lot of brain power for me. <laughs> so now I'm thinking instead of trying to follow this pattern, I might just try to do that. This is a knit stitch, I think, right? Not a pearl, this is a knit stitch. So I think I'm gonna just try to cast on 30. I'll see how wide it is, maybe a little bit more. And then just go back and forth with the whole 30. I think that might be a little easier for me. So I'm gonna give that a try. Hey guys, so it's the end of the day and wanted to just show you a little progress that I made so I did switch over to trying the circular needles and I don't know, they're a lot easier for me to use than the super long ones, but I'm still struggling. 
So I also switched over to some really chunky yarn. And this is what I got with that. So once I worked on this a little bit, I decided that I would go back and, you know, I tried my original one again, but this was just so splitty. Like I felt like every stitch I was making, I was splitting the yarn. So I wanted to try something different. So I went ahead and I took out this that I was using to make my rabbit, the overalls for my rabbit. And this is the progress that I got. Okay, it was going decent, I think. Except, I think there's like an extra hole right here. I don't think this is supposed to be here. But yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna say this is the progress that I got for my first day of trying to learn how to knit. I'm gonna go ahead and frog this again. <laughs> and then tomorrow, I might go through my stash, see if I can find a different cotton, because it is a washcloth. I would like to make it out of cotton. This one I've just struggling a little bit too much with. I don't know if that'll actually make a difference, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> so yeah, so this is going to be it for my first day of trying to crochet, technically day two of the 100 day project. So I'm excited. I'm going to learn. I'm going to keep trying this. So hopefully tomorrow I have a little bit more progress. And I'm really hoping by the end of day three, I'll actually have figured out how to make this washcloth. But we will see. So again, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, commenting, and all that. I appreciate it so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys, and love you guys. Thank you.